How to Write a Short Story There's one essential ingredient for any good short story, and that's tension. What is tension? It's pressure, stress, or conflict, two things that oppose each other, creating drama and intrigue. For example, tension exists between good and evil, hobbit and orc, young wife and abusive husband, man who uncontrollably eats pickles, and manipulative therapist. Tension can also be less intense, less obvious, as in the following sentence. He stepped outside and paused for a moment. The wind shook the trees. Where's the tension here? Well, we might imagine the wind as signaling a violent storm approaching. We might also wonder why he paused for a moment. What is he thinking about? Tension in a story can also be imagined as a point of interest. Short stories need to be interesting. There's nothing interesting about someone vacuuming. Someone vacuuming naked is interesting. Why are they naked? Someone vacuuming the same carpet for the fourth time in the same day is interesting. Why so much vacuuming? One of my students once wrote a short story that began with the following sentence. I woke up to the smell of coffee from the kitchen. My boyfriend looked over at me and smiled. It was another wonderful Sunday. The rest of the story described a joyful walk to the park where the happy couple played with their dog before returning home. I told the student, your story was very pleasant. I hope every day of your life is as joyful and pleasant as that story. But it was so boring that I had to give it a low grade. After all, people don't read stories for mundane, joyful, everyday stuff. We read stories for exceptional moments. Harry Potter wasn't just an ordinary boy. He was an ordinary boy in a strange, magical world, fighting the forces of evil. Tension exists at different levels throughout a story. There's the most tension just before the end, at the climax, and then the story resolves and the tension decreases. Imagine a romantic comedy film where the characters meet and love each other, but one of them is a vegetarian and the other is an avid meat eater. This causes conflict. They question their love for each other. At the climax, the meat eater throws his veggie salad at the wall. Tension must be present from the very first sentence of the story. Here are three first sentences that really grabbed me. They're from some of my favorite short stories. Stuart Ross writes, The president fell into the river and his legs got cold and he ended up in a wheelchair. Where's the tension here? Something tragic has happened to somebody in a high position of power. What will happen next? Will the president's new condition compromise his ability to govern the country? Martin Myers writes, Gilbert Frigate was in the men's room of the Rialto when it happened. Where's the tension here? Well, something has happened and we don't know what. We want to find out so we keep reading. Bill Hutton writes, Baby faces, hundreds of them, all marching to the candy store. What are baby faces? Not actually babies, but masks? Why are there hundreds of them marching to the candy store? Is this a revolution where the baby-faced rioters will take control? Besides ensuring that your story has tension, here are some other tips. Try narrowing your scope to a single significant event or a thread of closely related events. Instead of describing the whole life of a character, just focus on one day in their life or perhaps just one hour. If you can, enjoy what you're writing. Put effort and interest into it. The more you love writing your story, the more your reader will love reading it. When you finish writing your story, review it, and look out for various errors, but especially moments where you've accidentally written in two different tenses, as in the following sentence, I went to the store and buy some beer. 
It's a more common mistake than you think. Also, be sure to write in paragraphs, separating large chunks of text with either spaces or indents. No paragraph should go over 250 words as a general rule. And that's all there is to it. Enjoy writing your short story.